Hi everyone, how are you all? So I guess this is the first time I'm coming live on camera for a chit chat with you all. It was earlier, it was a Q&A session. This is a, a random talk on how my life changed after 30. Just a motivational talk and sharing my thoughts on my life changes. Maybe not for all, but I guess some might find this useful or inspiring. So at my age of 30, a wife to my dear husband and mom to my two lovely boys. Rihan was eight years old and Arman was three. Life wasn't as beautiful as it is now. We were in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I had started my vlogging. This YouTube channel was from there. But way before that, I was going through lots of mental ups and downs. The pain was a lot inside, which was in fact coming from the outside world. I used to blame others for my unhappiness. I used to find reasons to cry. I was totally in a helpless situation. All I wanted was to get rid of the evil thoughts uh, that came into my mind. Now I have no complaints. My life is mine. My happiness is my choice. And I know how to make myself happy. It was in 2016, I turned 30. <laughs> Something was badly haunting me. Didn't know what, but one thing I really hated at that time was to depend on someone, to get me even the smallest of what I can have now or buy now. I hated to depend on my husband to get me something which I could have if I was working. Yes, I wasn't financially independent. I used to work, go for work when we were in Dubai before having kids. I used to pass over my salary to my husband because I was not sure of handling my finances again. And I had to drop my job as soon as I conceived my first child, Rihan. Was not able to go for work because of the morning sickness, vomiting, being tired. It was really bad, really bad. <laughs> Getting back to work was out of topic. And it was okay for me because I didn't like to go for work. Getting up early in the morning, coming home late, doing all the house chores. Life was really tough those times. So I was happy that I was pregnant and that's an excuse I found to not to go for work. Financial independence was never in my thought because that was not important in our culture either. I never saw anyone working in, a, in my family, women working. When you have the freedom to use your hard-earned money, the fruitful days are really sweet to taste. But I never knew that. I never knew how it was because I never saw any women in my family who goes for work, leaving their family at home. Neither did I, did I see my mother going for work. She was there 24 hours at home. This made me not to go for work. At the peak when I could have at least pursued my studies for a bright career. I never bothered, which I badly regret now, but it's okay. Once we gain that financial independence, it's we who feel so proud of ourselves. Thoughts about what society would think don't even come into picture. Now let me just go back in my earlier childhood days. I'm very thankful to my father who took us out from the nutshell and we are blessed to have the best education he could afford to provide us. But still, there were restrictions from the culture of not getting exposed to what we could to flourish. But I'm happy. I've seen both sides of life then and now. I compare my life to what I was and gradually converting to what I could have then. At least now, I'm doing it for myself. They say life is short, enjoy. But we make it short by not utilizing each moment productively. Now the most common comment I get from my videos is how do I speak English very fluently? Many of you say it has helped you to speak English better than before by just watching my videos. And even comments like 
why don't I start a spoken English class? So these comments actually gave me a thought of this video to speak about confidence I gained once I felt I'm independent. Once I came out free from all those evil thoughts. Once I started focusing on myself. And once I realized that my happiness is my choice, I will have to make way for it. My schooling was from Qatar, MS Indian School. And I believe that's one plus point to speak English a bit fluently. But that wasn't enough. I wasn't good at speaking very fluently then. I put a lot of effort. Even I used to feel jealous on seeing some women or men, even my friends who used to speak English so well. I don't consider myself too fluent or flawless in speaking English even now. I do lack words to utter. So I can understand how there are people, talented people I would say. Just for the shyness of not being able to speak English confidently, uh, just being underconfident of not knowing how to put their local language into English, they are not able to come forward. So let me introduce you something really exciting. It's an initiative from my side for my fellow subscribers and viewers who lack confidence in speaking English fluently. Launching a program, English 360, in which I am proud to be a part of with the help of certified trainers to help you gain that ability to speak English fluently and confidently. This is one of the projects that I have been thinking of doing for you all from a long time. So from the past few months, discussions over this had been going on with expert trainers. A trial batch is running successfully, really happy how it's going. And here we are launching English 360 officially. I'm sure this program will definitely help the very beginners who struggle in English and even for those who want to improve. Now to talk about the course, let me explain. We have two levels. Level 1 is a must-attend course for all those complete beginners who are looking forward to reach the intermediate level at the shortest time possible. This focuses on the fluency and confidence. There's six live group classes over a period of three months. There's 20 teacher-led self-paced online sessions. You'll have worksheets and practice materials. Practice is really important to excel in what you're doing. There'll be Q&A sessions with the certified trainers. Daily, there'll be a 30-minute self-paced practice sessions and the routine will be customized for each one of you. We give proven techniques that will help you learn to think and speak in English, fixing the common errors that you use in your daily life. There's a lot of practical part to be done, which in fact is much more effective than just doing the theoretical part. You reach a level where you can speak, you can think, you can write in English confidently. You improve your grammar, which is the most important aspect while using this beautiful language. Once you complete this level, you can start preparing for your ILTS, TOEFL, OET exams and so on. So that's all for level one for the very beginners in English. For the second level, that's English 360 level two, the structure is similar to level one, but the content will be different because this course is for anyone who wants to advance their communication in English and be more professional in their communication, especially in business or at work. Here you will be mastering the basics that's already in or gained at level one. Conversations being done will be more advanced. The presentations, speeches, skills will be more prominent. And that's why it's level two which focus more on your skills to go in an advanced level. Now, how do you decide whether you are in level one or level two? There's two criteria. You can do a self-checking based on the given assignments from our team and decide yourself which category you fit in. Or else, we can help you choosing the right one for you. If you are seriously looking forward to speak English confidently or fluently, hurry up join the program because there is a 50% discount for the first 100 members joining this program. Don't miss this chance to come in that first 100. I've given the contact details on the screen and even in the description box below. If you have any more 
clarifications regarding the course its details or anything our customer care team is always available to guide you nobody is perfect but you can practice to perfection i always say to myself and even tell my kids if you have the passion you can practice more to reach perfection so you definitely need a push from behind to get on to that track i had to change the location sorry for the distraction so uh, what i wanted to say is once we face a fear we overcome the fear i was scared of vehicles on the road i learned driving i was scared of drowning i learned swimming so train yourself with the help of someone if you want to overcome the fear of of anything or the insecurities that you have that's why this initiative we took for starting english 360 based on many of your comments if you feel speaking english confidently or fluently or if you or if you think that you are completely blank in english we are here to guide you don't worry i had been really underconfident in my whole life until i realized each individual is different from their abilities and capacities i felt i'm not able to do like others when i see their success stories or hear about their success stories but just a twist in those words i felt i'm able to do something that many couldn't i knew there was something unique in me i believed in myself and started loving myself that's how i started this journey in youtube not even knowing where it will lead me i started this for a time pass to keep myself really busy to get rid of those deep painful thoughts from my head but here i am my passion turned to profession i love taking videos and editing works and i enjoy what i'm doing it led me here where i'm financially independent and confident nothing happens overnight it takes time and effort but it will work all you need to do is to start ignoring or eliminating all the negatives in your life be it people or a thing even if you know it hurts to ignore now there's a misinterpretation life after 30 or life after a certain age means an end to many interest in life for some career ends as soon as they get married for some kids limited being mom just like how it was for me initially my life changed after 30 i achieved a lot after 30 When I look back into my life, the former days, I see myself as a very underconfident, very sensitive and very reserved personality, locked in a cage, not being able to fly to achieve the dreams of my life. Please don't keep limits. Age is just a number. There shouldn't be any room for excuses. Be independent and be confident. Look out for what you are capable of or the qualifications that you have. Sometimes all we need is that guidance from somewhere to keep us confident in what we are passionate about to get that straight path or straight road to our destination or the right direction just like how a google map directs there might be a situation where you will have to take a u turn to restart for a better you so that's why a small initiative from my side for you all to build your confidence in english hope you found this video helpful and i hope my words have motivated many of you so be confident be independent and be fearless stay happy see you with another video until then take care bye bye